years, I didn't like Oprah Winfrey. You want to have an issue with. Her. But I felt a type of way about the things she said about hip hop music in the past. It seemed like every time Oprah would go off about how hip hop was misogynistic and ruining America's youth, she was talking about the same things on my album. Look at it. Look, okay, look. They don't greet each other. Try you looking over here in space. Just so you don't have to make eye contact with Oprah. 50 Cent bravely entered the public eye and publicly criticized Oprah for allegedly manipulating and exploiting black actors. He was among the first to support Monique during her public outcry against Tyler Perry and Oprah. Now, 50 Cent is supporting Taraji P. Henson, who is uniting in what seems to be growing opposition to Oprah's purported predatory actions in Hollywood. Stay tuned till the end as we explore this controversy further, revealing the truth behind these shocking allegations and the ongoing conflict within the entertainment industry. In case you missed it, 50 Cent has been accusing Oprah of exploiting black actors to create a multi-billion dollar empire and then discarding them once she has finished with them for years. Funnily enough, in a a clip from a few years ago when 50 Cent and Oprah first met due to the disrespect she threw at the hip hop industry mainly towards 50 Cent and subliminally dissing his entire get rich or die trying project he ended up naming his dog after her which is quite hilarious I heard you have uh you have a dog named Oprah yeah. I consider that a compliment yeah I whether love you her. meant it to be one or not I love you <laughs> she, she to, you know what they say a dog's a man's best friend yeah I know. Mm -hmm. I have had 22 dogs in my mm -hmm. life. I have five right now. Okay, but you named your dog Oprah. That was not yeah. the compliment. Yeah, I had a time, cat. Right? I got a cat too. Name? Gail. <laughs> you know, I was looking for real uh, cute names for pets that people would. Do you uh, still have the dog named Oprah? Yeah, I got a babysitter for her. How she clearly seems butthurt from the fact his dog is named after her, as he tried to play it off as you don't know the saying, a dog is a man's best friend. But the real reason he done it has already been made clear. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell, this way you'll never miss out on any future celebrity videos similar to these. Also back in 2019, 50 Cent was vocal when he came out and stated Oprah Winfrey only seems to come out and slate black men who are accused of assault. To be exact, his original post which got people talking was a picture of his Instagram and it was known she would be making a documentary regarding allegations about Russell Simmons and the post was captioned, I don't understand why Oprah is going after black men. No Harvey Weinstein, no Epstein, just Michael Jackson and Russell Simmons. That S word is sad. Gail hit R. Kelly with a death blow documentary. Every time I hear Michael Jackson, I don't know whether to dance or think about the little boy's butts. These documentaries are publicly convicting their targets. It makes them guilty till proven innocent. Actually, he was among the first to defend Monique when she was accusing Tyler Perry and Oprah of underpaying her for her role in the film Precious and of blackballing her and ruining her career. And he is now standing up for Taraji in her battle against Oprah and the other black actors that Oprah has destroyed in order order to further her own self-serving agenda. You are undoubtedly aware of the ongoing drama between Taraji and Oprah in the most recent film, The Color Purple. Taraji accused Oprah of underpaying her, saying that she hasn't received a pay increase since the release of the film Proud Mary six years prior. One recent clip which got a lot of fans talking was when Taraji was in an interview with Oprah talking about the importance of a dream and fans noticed Oprah was suddenly trying to nudge her and was annoyed with her speaking. Let me tell you about a dream a dream is powerful yeah. and one thing about a dream no one can take it from you mm. it's yours and so if you believe in that dream I don't care if nobody else let me tell you when I got pregnant in college I believed in myself mm. people thought oh she's gonna drop over. out it's mm -hmm. over it's a wrap and when I heard that I was like watch this mm. and it wasn't um like I was trying to prove something to the naysayers. I was like, why did those other girls drop out? Once this clip started garnering some attention, a lot of people had their thoughts on the situation with various posts like, watch how Oprah subtly touches and bumps Taraji to keep her in line. Oprah is very uncomfortable sitting there. I believe she fears what Taraji is going to say. It's so easy to read between the lines here. Body language and facial expressions, Team Taraji. Taraji even thought about turning down Oprah's initial offer to color purple because it was so disrespectful. She reasoned that as Oprah is a fellow black woman, she would understand her and act morally. But Oprah took the exact opposite action. I almost had to walk away from color purple. Yes, ma'am. 
Who said what? Yeah. It's still not method, and I'm really getting tired of black women having the same story. It's breaking my heart. Like 20 plus in the game, it breaks my heart. It's like every time you achieve something really incredible, it's almost like the industry looks at it as a fluke. Like, ah, oh, that was like some one-time thing. So you fall back to the bottom, and you got to negotiate and fight tooth and nail to get what you made the last time when, where's my raise? I haven't, had, I haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary. Later, Taraji spoke with Oprah's best friend, Gail King, in another interview, revealing that she was considering quitting completely. However, as Taraji was threatening to quit and was experiencing a mental breakdown, Gail was trying to gaslight her and make her suffering seem silly because, as I previously mentioned, Oprah and Gail are best friends. So it was obvious that Gail wouldn't allow Taraji to expose Oprah on her show. And I heard on the street, Taraji, you had the audacity to say you're thinking about getting, stopping acting. We said, stop talking. I'm just tired of working so hard being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing my sisters say the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. um, you get tired. Mm -hmm. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yeah. You have to. Mm -hmm. The math ain't mathin'. Mm -hmm. And when you start working a lot, you know, you have a team. Big bills come with what we do. We don't do this alone. Before we go any further into the video, what are your guys' thoughts on this entire situation? Is everything being said about Oprah's treatment towards black actors true, or is it all a victim game? Comment down below. 50 Cent entered the drama as it was unfolding by reposting a screenshot of an article on Instagram and declaring that he was prepared to collaborate with Taraji. Once 50 posted this, fans were show their endless amount of support in the comments with posts like, she needs her own show like Queen of the South. She's a boss. She doesn't need another supporting role. She should have a whole show centered around her. But it has to be some bossy shit. JMO, laughing emoji, love Taraji. They did drop the ball on that for real. That was one of the most distinguishable characters in television at one point, and now it's like that barely boosted her career. They never talk about all the good 50 has done, just the negative salute for that. And that last comment isn't wrong. From exposing Jay-Z's dark secrets, to being the only person in Hollywood to clown Diddy for his past, to now helping Taraji. 50 Cent is a good guy no matter what the headlines will try to paint him as. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to Loaf2 for future celebrity videos and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.